When it comes to mini ITX motherboards, there are only a few options to pick from for the B660 chipset. Out of all of those, the ROG Strix B660i Gaming is your best bet. If you're looking to put together a compact build and don't mind spending the money to do so, then this is the best B660 motherboard for you. However, keep in mind that ITX motherboards come with their compromises. We'll get to that in a bit. First, let's talk about the design. The ROG Strix B660i certainly has a lot going on. You can see the massive Strix branding over the rear panel cover and the bright logo over the chipset heatsink. The VRM heatsink on the left blends in with the rear panel cover and keeps the MOSFETs below cool thanks to its large surface area. At the top, another tall heatsink covers the other set of VRMs. Speaking of which, this motherboard sports an 8 plus 1 phase power delivery configuration, which is quite decent for a mini ITX board. However, when paired with a powerful processor like the Core i7-13700, these VRMs can get a bit hot. This does not result in thermal throttling, but just something to be aware of. Of course, this is par for the course for higher-end ITX motherboards, so we can't fault the board too much here. The board includes two M2 slots, which is always great to see on an ITX motherboard. Both of these slots are NVMe PCIe 4.0 slots, so you're getting the absolute best in terms of speed and efficiency. Speaking of which, this motherboard supports DDR5. While we don't necessarily recommend buying DDR5 versions of B660 boards, this is an exception. As we said earlier, ITX boards are uncommon for the B660 chipset, and this is the best one out there. It just so happens that it supports DDR5 instead of DDR4. Now, that does does make this motherboard expensive, but it is worth the investment, especially since you consider how overpriced the Z690 version of ITX motherboards can get. If you're planning on building a small form factor build with a 13th gen processor, this motherboard is the best value you can get. Even then, it's quite expensive, which is to be expected from a high-end ITX option. These boards can be quite niche in popularity, as there aren't many options to pick from. Prices are higher. The only real competition to this board is the Gigabyte B660i Aorus Pro. While that one is cheaper, it lacks DDR5 support and only features one M2 slot. On that basis alone, the Strix B660i is ultimately the better pick. To sum up what we like is the dual M2 slots, the high-end audio codec, and the DDR5 support. On the downside, VRMs can get hot, it's expensive, and there are only six USB type A ports. Our rating for VRM design is 7.5 out of 10, aesthetics 8 out of 10, connectivity 8 out of 10, value for money 7 out of 10, for an overall rating of 7.5 out of 10. So what do you think? Do you like this motherboard? Check another video where we review the best B660 motherboards and see if any of these is a better option for you.